Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we are going to take a look at each of the personal months for February 2023, and we're going to take a look at how to best work with that energy with the universal month, as well as the full and the new moons that we have coming up in February. Now, I do want to mention these are different from the life path energies. So the calculations are also very different. So please be sure to check the description box below for the calculation. Do your calculation before listening to your personal month, right? Just to make sure, of course, that you're listening to the right one. If you don't want to wait to see what the next 12 months could have in store for you energetically, book your personal year ahead forecast now and take a deep dive into your own personal year ahead. You can book some time with me for that in the description box below. As always, this is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading or a coaching session with numerology, please again, book, book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. You can book some time with me through my website. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And of course, personal month eight. If you are in a personal month of eight in February, this can be bringing up uh, themes around business, career. Your career could be the focus this month or how you sort of make money or what you do with your money. So again, like philanthropy or uh, redispersing uh, funds or resources or um, bringing justice to situations where there may be an injustice type thing. This is a very powerful or has the potential to be a very powerful cycle. Uh, but career is really, or you like your creative output can really be the focus. So this can be a time for where you change jobs, where you get a promotion, where you get recognition for the work that you've put, put in, or this can be a time where you reach some kind of uh, milestone in your work or your creativity or, you know, your creative output. Uh, where it's again like something's coming to completion and then you're celebrating that and you're moving on to the next thing or you're building on whatever this is um so very possible for sort of big wins and sometimes big losses when we're in an eight cycle um but everything is sort of teaching us something right so there's something to be gained even through the losses so to speak so i would say things around money uh, money mindset, money management, um, making money, spending money, those can all come up under this cycle. Uh, resources, so buying or selling a home, um, you know, or, or, you know, land or something like that, or making an investment of sorts could come in. Uh, taking risks is a big eight energy. So this can be a time for taking big risks. Uh, we also have the energy of the nine universal cycles. So that we're all kind of working with in February. So there could be some things coming to completion now. And that's why I'm kind of drawn back to that. This is more of an energy collectively where we're in receptivity mode, where we've already done the work. So now we're seeing the rewards of that. And so if you tie that into the energy of your personal eight month, this can very much be about, again, like reaping the rewards from your, your big efforts, um, seeing a vision come to completion and like fruition type thing, uh, because of your efforts, this can be a time when people are coming to you, um, seeking financial advice or business advice or your expertise. And so where you finally feel like the expert at something and that's getting that recognition and people are seeing the worth of your contribution type thing. That's very possible. It can also be energy where, um, is sort of karmic in a sense where there's um, the need to deal with some power struggles and find the balance in those and kind of, um, yeah, the rebalance. If there's a power um, struggle and there's some kind of like over someone that's overpowering or you're being overpowering or whatever, this can be a time where that sort of equalizes them um, again, through both parties efforts, but that can come to completion at this time where you're kind of able to see eye to eye with others in a more sort of holistic way that helps to equalize that power. Anytime the eight shows up in a cycle, it's, it's begging for integrity. So it's really asking that, you know, this can be a very successful month, but there has to be like, um, the intent behind that success that has to do with the success of not only self, but of, 
all type thing. It takes, it takes everyone into consideration, um, in a way. And so anything sort of done under an eight cycle, that's very, uh, ego driven or very selfish can sort of have some more negative repercussions, right? That you, you'll learn a lesson from and you'll move through. But this is a time to also, like I said, just t- check the intent, check the integrity. Um, and anything that sort of comes up in this cycle will be assisting you in doing that. And so it may be that you have choices to make around your purchasing power, your spending, you know, your, your spending or how you receive, right? Like how you receive, um, money or help or resources and what you do with your power or your influence. Um, all of that can kind of come into light around an eight cycle. And especially because again, it's nine universal energy. That's also sort of in the the mix. Uh, there's definitely something here around humanitarian energy, working with and for others, um, being in service to others, using your gifts for others, uh, in a way that benefits all, including you, right? So beautiful energy, very powerful energy is the, the the key with eight energy is to not let that power go to your head, right? Like to not let the accolades or all of that stuff go to your head to where you start to misuse the power or the influence or whatever the case or the money or whatever, right? Um, that's sort of the dance with the eight energy. It's going to require that you step it up in integrity uh, with that and in the places where you, you don't or you can't for some reason, uh, then you'll just see the the consequences of that, right? That you'll need to move through. Now we do have a full moon on February 5th or 6th, depending on where you live in the world. Now this full moon for you all is highlighting the energy of the energies of the 13, four and the 14, five. Um, so this is big, like change kind of energy, big transformative energy of the 13, four, which is like death transformation, rebirth. It's very much like Pluto energy. Then you have the energy of the 14.5, which is very much like shifts and change and sort of lightning bolt change, like unexpected change. So this full moon could bring in very unexpected change when it comes to your status, your place in the world, your, you know, the power, stepping into your power, how you hold your power, what you do with your power, how you do with your influence, the influence that you have, all those things, all those kind of like eight energy uh, vibrations, right? you could see a quite a dramatic change. It is a very short cycle, right? It's only a month long, but you could see with this much potent change energy, some kind of massive or major transformation that sort of, because the five is involved, I would say is somewhat unexpected. And it's going to be like how well you adapt to that and how you move through that and what you do with that. Right. And it might not be that you are experiencing these massive changes, It might be that someone that you know is, and you have to sort of hold space or be that support system for that person. That's also very possible. So it might be like one of your friends or family members having a financial crisis and you need to assist in some way, whatever that means for you. Uh, That's very possible because there, when the five is involved, again, it's sort of like often changes or situations that we tend to feel uncomfortable in and we need to find our comfort in it. Like we need to find our footing type thing. So around this full moon, there could be some things coming to completion and that completion then causes change. Again, other expected or unexpected, that's very possible. The other thing I would say about the 14.5 energy is that it's very possible that there's been something where you've been so focused on the minute details that you're missing the bigger picture. And so this full moon is sort of illuminating a greater space, a greater um, awareness. And so you're able to see things through a much bigger scope, a much bigger lens. Um, And so I would say this 14.5 energy around this full moon is asking you to think unconventionally, to think outside the box, to think of ways to do things that might be different than what you would normally do, especially when it comes to business, influence, status, power, money, whatever. There's definitely um, this call around this full moon to look at things differently, to see things a little bit from a different vantage point that may feel uncomfortable and may feel like, uh, yeah, just outside the norm. So very unconventional. And so you may have to do some changing, right? Whether it's with your belief systems or in your physical location or whatever, um, to adapt to this new understanding or this new 
um, insight, right? Like something's presented to you that's outside the norm, but that makes sense. But again, it's outside the norm. So what do you do, right? And so it's how can you incorporate it? How can you integrate it? So beautiful energy there. And again, I would say it probably would shift back to something with finances, resources, you know, your place in the world, uh, your your power, owning your power, anything like that, right? Anything eight energy, any of those vibrations. Now around, uh, well, February 20th, we have a new moon. For you all, this is bringing in the energy of the 10-1. And what I love about this, this is big, powerful energy. And when it's coupled with the, with the eight, this can be just so powerful for you as far as, again, like all things associated with the eight energy. So again, think like business, career, power, influence, status, uh, resources, money, other people's money, clients, business partnerships, um, really any of those like material plane type things, like the materialization of things, right? Uh, that eight energy coupled with the 10 one is all about, and a new moon, which is all about like initiations, big risks, taking big risks, getting started on something, um, setting your intentions, uh, again, like going for it, finding the confidence. These, this, the, um, the eight, I can't even speak. It's so exciting. <laughs> the eight energy and the one energy is very ambitious energy and you put them together and this is like just a forest fire. So really it's going to be also about like finding ways to contain that energy and use it for good and to use it to sort of propel you forward in the direction that you want to move forward. Um, I would say because we're also in a universal nine month that this might not be the month that you, you start whatever this is, but it's at the end of the month, it's February 20th. So I would say this is probably when you're going to get like some, you know, if it's meant to come in for you, you're going to get some big downloads, big opportunities, um, big potential for huge new starts with this eight and 10, one energy, the 10, you've got the energy of the zero, which is a clean slate, a new beginning. Um, so whatever has kind of closed out or fallen away, or you're meant to build upon now, you're starting a with a clean slate around this new moon. And that gives you, you know, the freedom to create however you want to create, or it could bring in financial freedom. And now you have the freedom financially to be able to, to invest or do whatever it is, or to redistribute that wealth, whatever you choose to do. But the zero is like that, the idea of like, something starting from nothing and the nothing is just so expansive that you get to decide what that something is right so beautiful beautiful energy uh, and then of course the one is the trailblazer taking big risks you know doing something inventive being the visionary um taking big strides in something and finding your confidence to do that eight energy and one energy um, are both very confident ambitious driven energy so there's something here that wants to move through you in a really big way uh, especially because this 10 one is coming in for you all at a new moon while you're in an eight cycle so definitely pay attention to what comes in whatever it is that you start around this new moon has the potential to have a very big impact and so i would go back to the integrity right like make sure that the reason why you're doing it is sound and good and feels good and feels aligned and all those things and, and potentially has the potential to impact not just you but others as well in a good way uh, but yeah this is big big uh, getting started energy like this is the visionary and then you've got the power of the eight behind you to kind of see you through and to bring in the resources that would be needed to make this happen type thing of course you're the the puppeteer, right? You're the one that's like holding the strings and you're the one that has to take the action. But the energy is just a chef's kiss. Like, wow, you all are working with some big positive energy. If you want to make a difference and create big things and take big, you know, find that confidence and, and have a big start in something. Uh, this is great energy for that. It, it's really like fueling the fire and, um, yeah. So this is very like Mars energy in a big way. So, and then you've also got like all that kind of potential for change and sort of redistribution redistribution sort of of the energy around the full moon so this could be a really pivotal month for you all very very pivotal and again it's what we do with the energy that makes the difference it's through our choices but 
you're set up this month for some potentially to make some great big strides in whatever it is that you're trying to um, put into motion. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.